Hi everybody, I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to show you how to create a makeup that looks good in pictures but also if you have someone very very close to you. This is the makeup look that I basically create every time I have an event, especially during the day. And for me the eyeliner it's kind of mandatory because I have such small eyes and usually my eyes totally disappear in pictures. And you know that really annoying moment when you're taking pictures with a bunch of other people and then they all have like big eyes and even when they are smiling you can still see their eyeball. Well, it's not the case for me. So I either apply eyeliner nor eyelashes when I go to an event. I'm too lazy to do both, you know, because each takes quite some time. And I like to do the eyeliner because it's sexy, it's always modern and it does not give me the feeling of wearing too much. Whenever I'm wearing eyelashes, I feel like I'm wearing too much. I don't know why. Anyway, this is the makeup look that I came out with. Due to all the creamy products that I was using, this looks really good if you're sitting next to a person like very, very close. But you're also going to look very pretty in pictures, especially if you have small eyes like me. Before we get into this makeup tutorial, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the ring bell button. This way you're gonna get notified whenever I'm posting a new video. Now, if you'd like to see how I've created this look, then please keep on watching. I'd like to mention that I do have a self-tan on my face. It's the Tanceuticals Self-Tanning Lotion in dark. And I've only applied it once at night and that's it. I tested first on Alex. I'm going to start this makeup using Dr. Barbara Storm Glow Drops. I've seen this product everywhere on Instagram. And I mean everywhere. Every single celebrity that I am following on Instagram is using this. So when I went to New York, I bought it from Bergdorf Goodman. I'm going to apply it on this side first because I want you to see what it does. It's a very subtle glow that it gives to the skin. But I so love it. This brand is, you know, one of those expensive brands, but as long as it's worth it. It's more than just the glow that you have from a regular moisturizer that's very hydrating. I don't know what it is, but can you see the difference? Like, Nothing, glow drops, nothing, glow drops. As for foundation, I'm going to use the Surat Beauty Surreal Skin Foundation Wand. It comes with a brush and then you just push it in here and then the product comes out. This is a number eight. I just put the product on my skin like so, but I don't really like the brush that comes with, so I'm gonna switch it in a second. Let's see, I'm going to use my G36. This is just as good as G40, but G40 is smaller and I actually prefer that for my small face. There is still glow going on. I love this foundation. If you want to hide the really dark circles, you want to use a corrector like this one from Clinique. This is an apricot. It has a slightly orange color. This is going to neutralize that blue or mauve uh, situation under the eyes. So this is not going to cover, it's going to correct. So first we correct and then we come with the concealer. And now we're going to conceal using Born This Way from Too Faced Concealer. I'm mixing porcelain and warm beige to get the perfect color for me. You can take a brush. This is going to go faster. This is a 110 brush from Zoeva. What's left of my brush, I'm applying it on my eyelids. If you are watching my channel for a while, you know that I love creamy products. I love to apply everything like bronzer, blush. I think it looks so much more natural. It looks more like skin. Soleil Teint de Chanel bronzer with this angle brush from Kat Von D. You see this shadow right here. Okay, I'm following that. 
by tapping it. You don't want to rub along the hairline. I love to apply it on my eyelids a little bit. Not necessarily eyelids, but more like on the bra bone. On the nose as well. Liquid blush as well. NARS in Hot Tin Roof. This is super, super pigmented. So you want to put it a little bit on your hand. You take it with a brush and then I like to apply the blush on a bigger portion of my cheeks because I feel like it looks more youthful and a little bit higher. Not too close to the nose though. Now can you see where I'm actually applying? I'm starting from here and I go towards the temples. Powder Laura Mercier because nothing is going to stay if we don't set. Make sure there's no product in the fine lines. If there is something in there, make sure you spread it with your fingers. Then apply the powder first under your eyes by tapping it. You basically push the product into the skin. All over glow with this Too Faced Chocolate Gold Bronzer. We usually have the neck a little bit lighter than the rest of the body, the face. So I recommend you to apply the bronzer just a little bit right here, at least in the center of your neck. Let's do Glow. Givenchy Tant Couture Radiant Drop. Let's see how this works. Mm. The only problem is that, can you see how it dissolves product underneath? That is something I do not like. I mean, it's a beautiful product, check this out. But um, I think it's one of those products that it's better to use on its own. Very, very pretty, very pretty product, but use it on its own. The thing is that when you, when you stay like this, you cannot tell. But then if I turn around and I look straight, Oh, it's driving me crazy. I have like a gap in here. Okay, I'm going to use this Hourglass Ambient Light Palette as an all-over glow. Here's how I do it. I'm basically mixing all colors together and then just applying it all over. I'm setting everything with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This is the travel size. I did my eyebrows off the camera. I have so many videos when I'm doing my eyebrows and I have dedicated videos for that. I'll just put a link in here if you're interested. I've only used the Brow Powder Duo from Anastasia Beverly Hills in taupe and then the Clear Brow Gel also from Anastasia Beverly Hills and that's it. I think that it looks so much more natural when I'm using the powder but it just takes a little bit more time to really have this result. Marc Jacobs Omega Shadow in The Big O Lending Brush and I'm applying this all over my eyelid. Mobile eyelid, crease, like so. Then this eyeshadow that's called Prime O and I'm applying this all over my lid, my mobile lid. I did this eye and forgot to press play, so I'm just going to show you this eye, which is so much more difficult. So first, I'm just applying the eyeliner at the base of my lashes. Then I look straight in the mirror, and first I'm just, guide, I'm just creating this line as a guidance. Then I'm filling the space right here. I feel like it's super easy if you have patience, if you're not in a hurry. When you do a, an eyeliner, you have to definitely not be in a hurry. And now I'm basically trying to match this one with this one. They're almost even. They're sisters, but not twins. Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara.
On the lower lash line, I'll use this eyeshadow from Marc Jacobs. It's Oh My God. That's the name of the eyeshadow. I'll take it with a 219 brush and apply it on my lower eyelids. And I'm extending the, this eyeshadow like right under the little wing. MAC Extended Plagica Black Lash on the lower lashes. Now for now the lips. Bobbi Brown Lip Liner in Nude. A lot of you ask me why do I apply a lip liner? Like what is the difference that it makes? It actually prevents the lipstick from migrating. And I feel like your lipstick lasts longer when you're applying the lip liner. But this is a pretty pretty color. And this by itself can be very, very pretty lipstick. You just spread it like so, then you can apply a lip balm. And you already have a lipstick. But I'm actually going to apply, this is from Kat Von D in Ophelia. I'm applying this mostly in the center and then with my finger. This is a classic lipstick, but it holds so well. Here's a trick for all those of you who think that you don't look good with nude lipstick because I have so many clients that tell me I don't look good with nude lipstick. And I'm like, there's no such thing as I don't look good with, with nude lipstick. You have to find the color that is matching with your skin tone. For example, the Ophelia that I've just used, I think it's perfect if you have light, fair or medium skin tone and it will look different. Of course, the darker your skin is, the lighter is going to look like. If you already have some lipsticks at home and you feel like they're just too light and it makes you look like you have concealer or it makes you look like a lot of clients tell me, I look like I'm dead. If you already have them, okay, I challenge you to try them, the ones that you already have, with a lip liner, a darker lip liner. It's going to make a huge difference. I encourage all the time, even my friends, my clients, to use the products that you already have and just make them work for you. If you have a bronzer that you think it's not exactly for you, you could use it as an eyeshadow. I mean, there are so many ways you can make a product work. Before you buy something new, because we all like to buy. We're crazy about shopping, aren't we? I'm crazy about shopping. I'm Andrea Ali and I have a shopping problem. I kind of feel the need of gloss and I'm gonna use this Doso Colors Lip Gloss. This is in collaboration with I Love Sarai and this one is called Trio. Alright guys, this is it. That's the final look. This is the kind of makeup look that I do most of the times when I have an event. Because for me, this is like super easy, but it's glamorous in the same time. Plus, the eyeliner helps me a lot if I take pictures. Because I have such small eyes and the, and the eyeliner just helps it contour. And it looks really pretty in pictures as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also click on that ring bell button so you get notified whenever I'm posting a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram where you're going to find more tips and tricks about makeup and discover Paris and just more about me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.